What's up guys, CD Bo here with a new After Effects CS6 tutorial on the uh, new motion tracking device that they put in here and uh, it's a really cool effect, it makes motion tracking really easy in After Effects and uh, so yeah, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your comp, trim it down and everything and right click on it and click track camera down here and this will take a while so I'll speed it up a little bit and yeah I'll come back when it's done with the first step. Alright, it's done with the first step and it's on to the second step where it's actually solving the camera. And you can see here there's little little things right here where it's actually like scene geometry. Uh, you might know what that means if you do motion tracking, 3D motion tracking and Buju and stuff. And yeah, it's pretty cool. You can actually make the track size or the little point size really big by dragging this thing. But I'm just gonna keep it at 100 default, and you can do that with target size. I don't know exactly what that is, um, but yeah. Oh, I guess it's this little target thing right here. So yeah. All right. So uh, get the point that you want it to be tracked. Uh, actually, this is probably going to be a really short tutorial. Uh, get the point where you want it to be tracked, so let's say right here, and drag it around the ones that you want it to track. And yeah, that looks like it's about the thing. You can move where you want it to go exactly, and I guess I'll have it in the doorway. And click it, and oops, uh, <laughs> let me do that again really quick. Uh, you can just just click the things and it'll pop up and you just drag it and yeah so now you have a target and you put it in the middle and right click on it <coughs> and click create text and camera and now you have text right here and here let me go to this really quick alright so you can move that right here and so the text, click R for rotation, so you can change the orientation and everything because it's practically laying on the ground right now. So you can do that. And here, click character over here. I think there's, a, yeah, you can make it smaller like that. And oopsies, that wasn't good. Uh, hmm. And undo change value. All right. <laughs> that was scary. Uh, yeah, just put it in the doorway or wherever you want it, and it's motion tracked pretty much. Uh, you can change it and everything. You can change the text. One second, me. Yeah. You can change the font. That's pretty sick. Uh, Transformers font. I usually use that. Uh, all right. Now click in like. Oh, all right. Whatever. That's sick. Uh. I guess that's pretty much it. Um, take it back to the beginning, and you can see that it's perfectly motion tracked. Um, it's pretty much the end of the tutorial. I mean, there, there's other things you can do with it, and uh, I haven't done enough exploring with the new effect to be able to do that stuff for you in this tutorial. But I'll definitely come back with another tutorial and show you how to get how to uh, get like 3D text and stuff into it. So uh, there you go. 2D motion tracking, pretty easy uh, in After Effects CS6. So I'll, I guess I'll see you guys later.